hi everyone welcome to my channel I do have three different piles here so you can choose between one two and three starting with pile number one pile number two and pile number three so take a moment to meditate to reflect on um, and draw your attention to whichever pile whichever card is really standing out to you so just take a moment to do that and we'll jump straight into it okay pile number one pile number two pile number three okay what is changing in your life where is transformation rebirth or change coming in let's get straight into pile number one shall we okay you've got channeling channeling energy ace of pentacles two of wands the hermit and the ten of cups okay that's quite interesting um you are channeling a brand new opportunity okay there's something here with the ace of pentacles this is a god gifted opportunity that is coming into your path here and it's got a lot to do with you okay a lot to do with you what i want to say is the channeling card here can be emotions and using the law of attraction and things of that nature You've got the number three here, which is a trine. Okay, it's a triangle. The number three is symbolic of major life journeys. Um, and what I'm seeing here with the trine is birth, life, death, beginning, middle, ending. Some of you are attracting a major journey into your life. And it could very well be in relation to either relocating with the two of wands or possibly even love here with the ten of cups. Um but this is a major life change that you're attracting that can bring you your happily ever after here. There's a lot of moon symbols here, which can definitely point to emotion. Okay, can also point to the sign of a cancer. The big round pentacle can be a um, earth sign or a fire sign coming through. Can symbolize the sun, can be fire, can be earth. And you also have a hermit down here as well, which is a Virgo. But some of you, I feel like you're attracting... You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a, is symbolism of new beginnings, but stability, okay? Some of you are attracting a new living situation or someone foreign. There's a lot of expansion around this person because you have the Two of Wands. Um, it's either you're going to learn how to bring in this person more, okay, how to channel their energy, channel their vibes, know what they're thinking, know what they're feeling. But I think what's changing here is that you're channeling possibly a new job opportunity for a lot of you because the Ace of Pentacles is here. Um, it's one that you'll be very, very excited about. There's a very positive energy. The, the fact that the Reds are here, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Sag, Leo. And it is symbolic of a time of action, a time to feel things, a time to get motivated. So I'm seeing that there's a lot of this. You'll be overwhelmed with the motivational energy. And I do feel like there's a lot of massive career changes happening between you and someone, uh, um, between yourself. Or there's massive stable stability changes happening, more growth and stability between you and another person. Okay, because you've got you've got the two of wands here with the ten of cups. This is beautiful cards here, but look, some of you are the next major change happening in your life is that you're possibly relocating or you'll be offered a job overseas or elsewhere, or you're going to come into stability with a long distance relationship. And the reason I say a relationship has come up because you have the happily ever after card, you've got the ten of cups which can symbolize unions, love, passion, happily ever afters. Some of you are actually meeting someone that you'll be in a long-term commitment with. If you're collaborating, you know, the Ten of Cups can be you and another person or you and another company. So if you're collaborating with someone in the time of July around this time frame, I do feel like this will be long lasting. Okay, there's a this there's a promise of this to be long term. So if there's a partnership or a collaboration or an agreement or a union of some kind that you're entering, I'm sensing that this is a long term. It, it's got a lot of promising energy and it's a long term thing. The reason I say long term is because this priestess here resembles Medusa. 
and in Greek mythology Medusa would any anything that she'd look at she'd turn to stone so it would be embedded in the future and what that can be translated to in essence is that things are becoming more concrete or the opportunity that will come to you in the form of the ace of pentacles is one that can be cemented in your life and that can um a the notion of long term uh, um finding something permanent is what i want to say okay so you're approaching permanent relationships or possibly permanent living situations here uh, with the two of wands you might have two deciding factors it might be between two different parties two different people you've got the world in your hands here so this is why i said relocation change of living situation here it can revolve around yourself in a relationship so another person which is quite interesting this is a beautiful lover's embrace there's a lot of energy um, there's a lot of fish here it could be a piscean as well that's coming through that's helping you make this happen that's either making you this offer or wanting to be long term with you but your channel you're inviting a lot more of this into your life whether you're aware of it or not but somebody's definitely wanting stability as indicated by the bolted down um wand here and then you have that ten of cups which was that beautiful embrace here there's a lot of blues you're connecting with someone on a more permanent basis here or someone wants permanency with you and the change that you are about to see is there's a shift happening um, and suddenly things that were previously short term or were just plans you know you're in two minds about something suddenly this is changing okay and um this is becoming going going to become more permanent for you you also have the hermit energy the hermit can often be seen as quite a guarded or protective energy but it's also someone who's deeply analytical um, and thinks about the future thinks about every scenario that they can in in a very logical and rational way so what i'm seeing is that your mode of thinking is also changing and the, the energy that you're channeling is people who are serious and committed and analytical and read into things as much as you do so there there is a similarity between the two of you that will help you grow um help you come into completion you know the symbolism of the circle with the ace of pentacles here is very very nice some of you are becoming more aware of your surroundings as well. Um, there's a shift in attitude possibly, and this is going to be long term. Again, concreteness, solidarity and long term are coming in. So I think some of you have long term either living situation changes, long term relationships happening with a foreign person or someone that's coming at a distance. There's a lot of good energy about the two of you, and this could very well be um, something that leads you um, you know something that is around you for a very for many many numerous years that's quite powerful let's move on to pile number two if you've selected pile number two let's have a look and see what's coming up for you okay healing is taking place healing from past situations past pains past transgressions and past um changes you've got the number five here the five is associated with major changes in our lives um major journeys major decisions that we've we we've um had to make um, but healing can be internal or external you've got success here okay you've got the lovers five of cups the world and the magician okay i definitely feel like this is healing in relationships or healing in friendships um you've got the lovers card and this this often symbolizes love okay lovers twin flames the next change in your life what's coming up next for you is massive healing happening in a relationship okay um, but within yourself as well okay you've got this priestess of success here this could definitely be self-healing the eagle um hunts alone okay it's an animal of prey but it doesn't hunt in groups it does in fact hunt alone so this can symbolize self-empowerment and self-growth for a lot of you um, also individual endeavors will see success and healing if you have had a business or something that you, an entrepreneurial energy or something that you've started on your own um, you will receive healing in this regard because the priestess of success is here you will be successful in overcoming obstacles she's got the green around her which which symbolizes growth or money um, as well now the time around her is aries and taurus 
Aries is the trailblazer. Taurus makes things happen. Taurus is very practical. So you are, in fact, having new beginnings, which you can see the, the sign of Aries came, um, has, has come up in the form of the magician. So I definitely feel like there's new ideas or a new path you're journeying on. Some of you have a new romance. You're, in fact, healing. I think it's more to do with love. I do. Because I feel like the lover's card has, has come up here. It's symbolizing some of you have a new lover, a new twin flame um, that's going to absolutely change your life. A, it's going to allow you to heal successfully um, as a person, as an individual, but also as a partner, also as a lover. And, you know, this is soulmate twin flame energy, especially if you have experienced that five of cups, which is sadness, grief, addiction, loss, third party situations here. Um, so if you are in a relationship where this person has been unfaithful or you have been unfaithful, this could symbolize that the two of you will, will be able to heal, okay, because you've got completion here. The world card symbolizes completion. It's two worlds coming together, but the moon card also symbolizes cancer energy, which is all about your emotions. So I think this middle column is definitely more emotionally based, and I think the changes that are coming up for you is that you're either A, healing from a relationship that has had tensions, or B, you're healing from something else, from low self-esteem, um, healing from someone that's hurt you, um, and you're actually welcoming in a brand new successful soulmate or twin flame relationship that, that will be coming in your life that's destined to be successful. Um, in particular, you've got the time of Aries, the dates of Aries and Taurus, and then you have Gemini with the lovers, and then you also have Cancer with the moon, uh, the moon popping up in the world card here. So that's quite significant. I feel like if you have been connected to someone during these times from the beginning of the year, I think this might be connected to this person somehow. Um, you know, that's that's quite powerful especially if it has been a third party situation and you've got the two of cups here and the two of cups in this rider weight deck is the, the two lovers coming in together into a union here um so if this is if this is something that you're waiting on i see massive healing and transformation taking place which will be successful you'll grow and evolve as a person but also there's someone else here next to you that you're going to grow um you're going to grow with in a very beautiful way Okay, and this is all about healing or the need to heal, but about major life changes. Five has come up twice, five and five make ten, which make one brand new beginnings, which you can see with the Aries here, with the magician. Um, possibly new worldly adventures or attracting foreign people. The world card is really, I mean, for some of you, there can be a destined collaboration that's going to put you, um, it's really going to put you out there on the world, either make a name for yourself, a persona, become famous, become well known, become well respected. But the world card could also point to travel opportunities, living situations. Some of you, and the fact that the magician is here, some of you are really taking off, but you're taking off there into the world, okay? You're really, um, if you have had attempts to put yourself, to put your name on the map, to put yourself up, out there. If you have had two or three attempts to make that happen, you will heal and you've got two more chances here is what I want to say. Um, especially if you are connecting with someone foreign or someone at a distance from you, there'll be another chance to make things happen and things will manifest very, very quickly because the magician manifests almost instantaneously. So if this is what you're waiting for, the healing might be a work in progress and it might have occurred from the time of Aries, which would have been March up until the time of Cancer, so June, July period, after which you'll just see these massive changes and welcome them in I'm in a very beautiful way. And things will take off very, very quickly. Um, creation is happening Creation is happening for you in a very major way. You've got a lot of greens here. Green is the color of growth, of healing, of um, fertility. And you also have this, this beautiful priestess. She's otherworldly almost. So I feel like some of you might be... Um, what's changing here is your intuitive ability, um, your spiritual alignment, um, your ability to read situations better, your ability to read at people's emotions better. You've got the moon here as well. 
I do see that there's major changes happening in relationships, though. Um, healing, okay? Healing of addictions, healing of struggles, healing of th things like that, okay? Major healing happening here. <clears throat> and it could be someone that's a Gemini coming in or an Aries. Or you might meet this person, I mean, in the time of Gemini. But the angel here is bringing you together. You're actually being connected with a lot of people. So what's changing is possibly even friendships, the people in your life. And these people are going to help you heal. Um, I don't think, I mean, it could be financially. You've got Taurian dates here and Taurian, uh, Taurus rules, romance and, and luxury things and, and um, money and ownership. So it might be in the fin healing in the financial realm. Uh, but it could also very much be centered on relationships, which I think it is more to do with healing, either coming to terms with what you've done in the past or coming to terms with someone with what someone has done to you in the past. So that could be quite significant as well. Let's have a look at pile number three. OK, transformation. Wow, transformation, rebirth. Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Justice and the Queen, ju the Justice card, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, that's quite powerful. Transformation, change, things coming full circle, um, an old way of life dying. You've got the number nine and one, which make ten. Brand new beginnings coming up. Transformation in your internal or external world. And then you had also the Priestess of Rebirth. Okay, something is being revived here. Possibly something you've already gone through is being transformed and rebirthed, or there's renewal coming in. She rules the dates November 25th to December 23rd. Now, this is the time roughly of Sagittarius and a little bit of Capricorn. So there might be a connection to the end of the year or perhaps the end of last year. Um, but what I love about it, that it's primarily Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius energy is really, really direct and really confident. Um, all these reds here is passion, um, passion, you know, the horse here is symbolic of drive, um, movement, acceleration. If you are dealing with a Sag or a Capricorn, there's major changes coming in around you and this person. You also have a Libra here, didn't you? You've got strong fire energy, but you also have a Libra here. So if you are dealing with a Libra, this is coming up. But this, um, the Justice card is also um, documentation, contracts, legalities. An old contract or an old... Um, could be like immigration papers. It could be... Um, something to do with money I think it's more to do with contracts and legalities here or it's a karmic connection that's being you, you've had this connection before with someone it's actually coming back in it's being transformed um, it almost looks like the big bang here I know you can see the earth in the middle but the big bang here it's being transformed in, in very powerful ways um, and rebirth is is changing something Okay, or someone is wanting to revisit the past with you somehow, I think. Revisit the past with you and offer you this beautiful Ace of Wands, Aries, Sag, Leo energy, but it's also a time of action. It's a time of making change. Some of you have, I, I think this might be, if it's not in a love connection, I think it might be to do more with contracts and working situations some of you have um you're reviewing something major here it could be like a creative pursuit it could be a new job um or a past employer but you're actually there's a lot more transformation happening in here new contracts are being re-signed or being written up this is a different approach a new approach a fresh approach and it can see things accelerate very very quickly uh for you okay very very quickly if you've chosen number three this is also um, karmic energy with the justice card. I feel like she's the go goddess of 
karma and balancing things out, truthfulness, righteousness, rightfulness, um, harmony, happiness. This could also point to karmic connections. Something about karma. Karma is coming back around and offering you a chance to rebirth or renew something around you that you've been wanting to do for quite some time. And that there'll be an ability for you to do this There'll be a, a chance for you to do this, um, I think, during this time. I mean, you've got the time of Libra. It could come later in the year. But I think it's to do with um, balancing things out, bringing harmony, bringing powerful harmony back into your life, which is quite powerful. You have that Eight of Wands as well. This is a time of action and movement and change. Um, often... Times the Eight of Wands is seen as the Arrows of Love. So if this is in regards to a love relationship with a fire sign, intimacy or action in the relationship is changing or pacing. Okay, you can see this is elevation. This is, yes, eight steps, but it's also signs, synchron synchronicities and symbols. But it's the way things are moving. And you can see that these Eight of Wands are darted by a higher power. This is definitely divine intervention happening on your behalf if you've chosen this card. Um... It's movement in the right direction. I do think it's it's elevation in career for a lot of you. There's massive changes happening in career if you've chosen this card. Or the revival of old careers or old jobs or old roles or revival of other people's contracts that have worked for you previously. I mean, it might be that as well. Because underneath all of that, this, you know, there's a lot of action coming, a lot of action associated with this. There's a lot of um, the pacing I feel is going to happen very quickly, but there's definitely someone here that wants to revive and transform something that you have. So changes could be made to something that you might have had going on for quite some time. And then you have that Queen of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, the Queen of Swords is extremely direct, is extremely straightforward. She also rules um, messages, communication, mentality, the way she comes across. She could also rule anything over the, re uh, the legal realm. Paperwork, communication, emails, correspondence. I do feel like you're... You're actually transforming the way you think or someone's impressions of you are changing. But the Queen of Swords is deeply direct here. It almost looks like she's got an arch here and she's ready to shoot. It's quite powerful. So she's got her eye set on something. She's deeply ambitious and you can see she's not very distracted by what's going on around her. The Queen of Swords can be very distracted because she's, she's very... Um, She's got an immense attention to detail and she can see everything. But what I'm seeing here in the cards is that, in fact, she's got her eye set on something. And this is willpower and determination, especially to do with communication, okay? Um, you've got Libra and energy. I see the Queen of Swords as a Gemini, but she can be a Libra or an Aquarius as well. The butterflies here are, also support the notion of transformation and change coming out of your cocoon, blossoming, blossoming a lot more here. It could be something to do with speech or mentality, improved mentality, um, psychology, um, being becoming more aware, becoming more control of your thoughts, um, or ment improvement in mental state of mind as well. So psychological improvement, mental awareness, improvement in mental health, or the way you communicate, strengthening of um, ambition here as well is coming up. appreciation and gratitude there's a lot to do with karma here for you a lot to do with karma so i think karma is sending you something you're deserving of rebirth it's it's coming back to you something about recycling things it could also be a past connection that's coming through it could be a past love connection or a past professional connection that's coming in around you that you'll experience 
sometime very, very soon because you have those cards that indicate this, this is a thing from the past or this is a past energy or a past life energy that's coming in around you and that's going to transform or change your life. I think it's to do with work, could be relationships, but I think it's more to do with living situations, um, legal documents. Um, living situation the way you communicate so it's mental or psychological here as well it could point to that as well so um, nonetheless I hope this reading has been insightful thank you so much for connecting and watching I really do appreciate it um, if you have enjoyed this pick a card reading don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe otherwise we shall be connecting very very soon so thank you so much for watching and we'll be in touch soon bye for now